I love you. Thank you. So we have a super exciting update. If you've been following us for a while, you know that Teddy is my assistance dog and um, we're trying to move to Australia, which is not the easiest thing in the world. We first started our journey like a year ago when I first decided I wanted to move. We were partway through the process. Australia changed some rules. I had also gone on a trip, forgot about like the dates had to be exact. Anyway, we had to start over, which was fine because Teddy still needed to do more of his service dog paperwork because, what are you looking? Are you still licking your foot? Because in Australia, you actually need to be a certified service dog. Unlike the US where it's, you can train your own animal and just call it your service dog. Australia has standards. So eventually we found Lisa at Assistance Paws in Australia because we were trying to get certified through an ADI facility here in the US, but then it turned out it really wasn't going to transfer to Australia anyway. So someone recommended Lisa, we used her. It has been nothing but fabulous the entire journey. And then last week, my last piece of paperwork from my vet came in while I was actually on my last day in Australia because I popped home for a trip. And the last thing that came in was the RNAP paperwork. So I popped that in and then Lisa made sure everything was fine with her end. And then this week when I flew from Australia to Miami to visit my husband, I got the last thing I needed. And that was his export paperwork or his import paperwork was finally approved. Now, I may have gotten just a little bit excited when the paperwork came in. My husband was in the shower and I went running in and was like banging on the glass that the email came in that Teddy was finally approved. So what this means now is that as of the 5th of May is the date that we can initially import him. That's the, 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 the soonest date that we can get him in. In the meantime, he still has to have a 45 days worth of stuff. So at 45 days, he gets like a bunch of tests, 30 days, 14 days, five days. And then he has to get like the clearance from the vet and then we fly in. So even though now his import permit is approved, there is still like a whole bunch of stuff that needs to get done because we have to work out the flight and we have to work out because he's gonna fly in cabin, we have to work out whether American, he, he usually flies, will allow us to fly him in cabin to Australia. And then once we have the date of the flight, we have to count 45 days back from there because there's all of these tests starting at 45 days, there's one at 30 days, 14 days, I think it's seven days, and then five days. He all has to be at the vet before we can even get on the plane. Meanwhile, I also have to be looking in Australia to find an apartment because we have my brother's address listed on the import paperwork and he has to do 10 days of home quarantine, which I don't know if we're gonna do it at my brother's. We'll have to give them another address. So I have to find a place, tell the people in Australia where we're actually going to be, which I don't know how hard it's gonna be trying to find a rental in Sydney before I actually get there, given that when I was there, a week ago like it's a shit fight trying to find an apartment in Sydney without the dog so I'll probably get an Airbnb for like the first couple weeks and then hopefully find an apartment and then there's all of the other stuff of thankfully I already have a job so that's sorted but then we have to get him registered with the council he has a travel pass for Queensland but then we have to get one for New South Wales because that's where we're gonna be so it's going to be like crazy hectic the next couple months trying to get all this shit done because moving countries is already difficult enough <laughs> and then you throw in a dog it's it it's a time but I mean, as hard as it is, I am so fucking thrilled that he has finally been approved, that we've only got like a little bit left to go, and then I can finally be at home in Australia. And hopefully my husband comes with me because he's gonna come for the initial part, but then he still has a job here, and then we've gotta go through and work out whether he takes his job to Australia and works remotely, or if he is going to find a new job in Australia. Hey. Thank you. 
But yeah, so if you are trying to move your dog to Australia, I know it can seem like a long, frustrating, annoying process, and it can be. But thankfully, the people in Australia at DAF are fucking brilliant. Like, they were with us the whole way, being like, we still need this. And they would email me, like, Sarah, you know, like, this part's missing. So, like, they are so much better than American departments. Thank God. Um, and then, yeah. So we'll be there soon. If you are a realtor um, and you have apartments for rent, preferably in the northern beaches, and um, you can help me get a rental, comment down below because that's I think, is going to be my biggest challenge. All right. Just a quick update from us. Teddy, say bye. He's like, whatever. He's way too chill for this. Anyway. I will let you know how we're going in the updates once we start like the 45 day process and then the journey.